Okay, so in this particular video, we'll talk about the reason why we need op agent. So before that, let's create an instance. So let's click on create instance. And again, let's create an E2 micro. And let's change this to standard. Click on select. So I'm doing this so that this falls under the free tire. And let's create our instance. Okay, so our instance has been created. So what we need to do is we need to go to our instance. So let's click on this particular instance. And if you go to the observable observability, you can see that certain metrics like, for example, the memory utilization, the disk utilization. Uh, let's go to the memory tab. So here, what it states is that for certain matrix to show up what you need to do is you need to install op agent so let's look at what an op agent is so if i go to the op agent page now this particular page i'll send in the description below so you can check that out so op agent is just a primary agent for collecting telemetry from your compute engine instances so this has to be unfortunately manually installed after you created your instance so some of the matrix that you can check out use after you install your op agent includes cpu matrix the disk matrix and if you're using windows you can also get matrix for your iis web server and other such matrix are available only after you've installed your op agent so let's see how you can install your op agent so to do that let's click on installing an op agent now what we will do is for this particular example we'll just install op agent for an individual virtual machine now of course you can also automate it and you can also install it for a fleet of virtual machines so that is generally how it would be done in a larger organization but for this example let's install it just for one individual virtual machine uh, so now there are three ways in which you can install your op agent so the first phase again you can just click on this install and you can just run this in cloud shell so that is the first way the second way is you can again go to your tab here and then what you need to do is you need to go to monitoring which is under operations click on this And you can just click on setup agents here. And here, all that you need to do is you need to check this particular instance and click on install agent. So that is the second way. But for this particular example, we'll use the third way of SSH, SSHing into that particular instance and installing our op agent from there. So again, let's go back to our instance once. So what I'll do is I'll SSH into this particular machine. And all that I need to do is if I go back to this particular page. So all that I need to do is I just need to run these two commands. So let's just copy these commands. Now this particular page again, I'll send in the description below. So you can just check out all the three methods. This I feel is the simplest method to install your op agent. So once you've copied this, let's again paste these commands and let's run it. Okay, so this has been installed properly now. So let's go back to our virtual machine instance once and let's click on instance one and let's again go to our observability now. So now let's wait for a few minutes for these logs to appear. So let's refresh this page in a few minutes. And here you can also see that it states here that your op agent has been installed. Okay, after, after a few minutes, you can see that these logs start appearing. So for example, the memory utilization and even things like your CPU usage, etc., starts appearing now. So all the metrics are currently available for you to see. So that's it for this lecture. So in our next lecture, we'll talk about how you can install op agent for a third party application like an Apache web server. So if you have any issues with this, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me and I'll gladly help you out. So I'll see you in the next chapter.